Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a sound that you hear quite a lot on tracks at the moment. I'm calling it the cymbal suck sound, and what it is is a really cool way of taking a cymbal with some reverb and using it as an effect in a track. So here I have on the timeline right now a standard cymbal sound. So let's have a listen to that first. As you can hear, it's and then what I've done, I've got a reverb, I've just got the standard room reverb, and what we're going to use is we're going to use it as an insert effect, an event effects. So it's not going on the uh, channel, it's actually going here on the left hand side, press the I, and you'll see event effects. And we want to make enable those, and then what we want to do is drag it in, so you can see we've got re room reverb set up there, and then I've got a setting on here which we can have a listen to. It's a big room, so let's listen to this big room now that I've set up on here. It's a really long decay time. And I'm going to show you how the effect works in a sec. So what we're going to do first is render that so it's now built into the sound. Listen to that sound now. Now the event has actually got the reverb baked into it, basically. So the next thing we want to do is we want to copy that event. So the quickest way to do that is press the Alt key and just drag it. So we now have a copy of that. And then we want to go to the audio section and go reverse audio, press Command R. Now we've got a copy of that in reverse. And then what we want to do is drag that onto the other clip. And if you press the X key then, you can hear that going through at the moment, and that's that's okay. But if you press the X key, we can create a crossfade, and then if we drag it in, we'll crossfade it into the other sound. Now listen to that. And that might be the length you want, and if that is the length you want, then you've done it. You could always save that as a as a as an effect that you keep in your file library and keep dragging in. But the other thing you could do is if you press the, the Alt and Command key, you can make this shorter. Now, the first thing I'm going to do first is going to just lose the uh, fade out of that. Now make it shorter, pressing Alt and Command and dragging. It's much shorter now. So you do the same process again. We can use the Alt key, copy that. Now we use Reverse before, it'll now be in my shortcut menu. There it is, and drag that in bit further to get the, press the X to get crossfade. Now listen to that. So as you can hear, you can make it any length you want, and if you wanted to, you can make the long, the, the back longer than the front. So let's just recap that again. So we'll get the, the longer one, and we'll pull that in, press the X key to crossfade it, and then we just push it into position and have a listen to that. And it's as simple as that. Then you just want to adjust this crossfade and you can just use the section in the middle there to do that. And then as you move it around, you can you can get that working differently. And as you can hear, it's a pretty cool effect. You'll hear in quite a lot of tracks at the moment. So that's how you get the suck symbol effect, as I call it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.